What is up, bros and brouettes? I am Ink Slasher, and it is official. The Black Ops 4 servers are on, the embargo is lifted, and I can officially bring you guys some early videos. So I know the game doesn't come out till tonight at midnight, and most of you don't have your hands on the game yet. So what I'm going to do is talk about things today that you should learn about the game, things you should know before you actually get the game. So for today, there's going to be three different videos going up. The first one went up earlier today. This is the second, and there will be a third later today. But... If you are watching this as of right now, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be streaming Black Ops 4 for 24 straight hours over on Twitch. My Twitch link is down in the description, and if you guys are interested in that kind of thing, you can go hang out, stop by and say hi, and we'll hang out and play some Black Ops 4. So check that link out down in the description. Now... Today in this video, we are not talking about multiplayer, we are talking about Blackout. So Blackout is of course the new Battle Royale mode in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Now, we all played the beta, we know what it's all about, we know how the gameplay works, very similar to PUBG. But one thing we don't know about is first of all the leveling system, and second of all how to unlock the various characters that you can choose in the Blackout mode. So as you can see on screen here, at launch there are a ton of characters, and they have announced that throughout the life cycle of the game, they're going to be adding even more characters to this list and as of right now there are three different ways that you can unlock these characters one example is the shadow man the shadow man as you can see here is a character obviously from zombies and for this character it says that he is only unlockable with the blackout pass now i believe that the blackout pass is actually included in the black ops pass which is basically the season pass for call of duty black ops 4 which allows you to get all of the dlc content some characters some skins that kind of thing so the shadow man is just so happens to be the only character currently in the game you get from that black ops path so the next set of characters we're looking at are the characters that you unlock just for leveling up so on the screen here they include ranger frogman and airborne seal and finally battle hardened so basically the easiest way to look at this is you unlock a character every 20 levels so for example the way you'd look at it here ranger you unlock at level 20 frogman 40 airborne 60 seal 80 and then battle hardened as you can see on screen here is 80 with a star now i'm not sure what the star is i'm sure it's some sort of prestiging once you hit level 80 you can go through all the levels again and then that's when you unlock battle hardened but no one's seen that yet so at this point i'm kind of unsure so we'll have to wait and see what that one means so that's great and all to see that but how exactly do you level up so it's pretty straightforward we didn't actually get to see this in the beta so let me explain to you very quickly how leveling up works in this game in this video i'm not going to be able to show you the fastest way to rank up i'll make a future video about that but as of right now let me just quickly explain how the rank up system works in blackout so the thing you're looking at here is the merit record you get this after you've completed a game as you can see we finished in first place during this game it was in a game of quads so for every kill you get you get 10 merits if you finish in the top five you get 50 merits and if you win the game you get a hundred merits on top of this you also get merits for completing challenges basically the way you want to think of merits i know i've said that word a lot but it's basically xp and the two ways to get the most is winning games and completing challenges by far those are the two best ways now of course if you're getting a lot of kills and solos or something like that you're going to get a lot of merits that way too but wins and challenges are i'm telling you the two two best ways to level up. So, so far, the two ways we know to get characters is from the Black Ops Pass, and the second way to get characters is by simply leveling up. But most of the characters, the way and description to get them is simply unlocked by completing character mission. And this goes for every specialist character, almost all of the zombies characters, and Reznov, Woods, Mason, and Menendez. So the big question is, how do you see the various characters' missions? Is it underneath challenges in the menu? And the easy answer is no, it's nowhere in the menus, but they can be found actually in-game. And that's what this video is mainly about. So the more difficult answer is when you are playing in game, you have to be playing and find a character item. Now this item will then give you the character mission. So what you are looking at on screen here is I'm playing in game, I'm running around and as I do, I find a med bag laying on the ground. Now med bags contain various healing items, trauma kits, that kind of thing. But inside this med bag, there is a set of poker chips. Now you've never seen these items before because it is one of the character items. It is in fact Crash's character items, who is a specialist character in Black Ops 4. 
So right away, this brings up a couple of questions. First of all, why are poker chips Crash's character item? And the easy answer for that one is if you go into Crash's background, his lore, it turns out that Crash was actually a little bit of a gambling addict. He liked poker specifically a little bit too much. So that's why it's his character item. The second question, why was it found inside of a med bag? The answer to that one simply is because Crash is actually the healer specialist character in multiplayer. So generally speaking, where you find character items is going to be somewhat related to what that character actually is or does in the Black Ops lore. So for example, I'm betting a lot of the zombies characters are going to be found in the zombies locations around the map, in the Shadows of Evil boxing ring, in Asylum, or Veruk whatever you want to call it, in those areas where zombies actually spawn in. So that answers a couple of easy questions, but then the biggest question of all is what in the hell do you do with these items? So the first thing you're actually going to want to do when you get these items is open up your inventory and scroll over top of that item. Once you do so, off to the right hand side of the screen, it is going to give you that character's character mission. And it is the same every single time you pick up that item. And generally speaking, every single mission is going to directly have to deal with the backstory of that character. So for example, Crash's mission is to first of all end a match with 15 different healing items, to place in the top 5, and to end the match with the poker chips in your inventory. So every time you pick up one of these items, it's going to take up one of your inventory slots. And for most of the character missions I've actually seen, you either have to place in the top five or actually win the game. So these missions are not easy to complete and in fact are going to be much easier to complete in quads or duos than they are going to be in solos because like I said for a lot of them you have to actually win the game which is a lot easier when playing with a full team of people. And in fact, I actually completed a game with the poker chips. We won the game, but unfortunately, at the end of the game, I used too many bandages at the end, so I didn't have enough healing items to complete the actual mission. So really, these missions aren't easy. They're going to take a while to complete, and you can't simply look them up in the menu as to where to find these actual items. So it's going to take a while for our community to find all of the locations and destinations to complete these missions. But fortunately, while I was playing the game at the pre-event at Activision, I actually found two other items that I can actually give you the missions for. So the next item we have here is actually Wood's Bandana, and this one I didn't get from an individual location. I actually got this one from simply killing someone and picking it up off of their inventory so I don't know the normal location where you would find this one but the character mission in this one is actually a lot more cryptic and it's actually two quotes that Woods says throughout the story of Black Ops and the first one you can see there is you see that hind and the second one is you can't kill me so the you can't kill me part all you have to do for that one is simply win the game you have to actually win and finish in first place the second part of that is you see that hind is all you have to do for that one is get into a helicopter at one point of the match if you do both of those win the game you then unlock frank woods as a character once again it's not easy to win a game of blackout so these missions are pretty difficult now, the final example I have of one of these challenges is the locket is the character item. Now, this we have found inside a supply drop, one of those things that fall from the sky. We found the locket inside of there, and out of any of the ones we've seen so far, I believe that this is the hardest. So, for this one, you have to do three things. First of all, kill an enemy with a shotgun. That one's not too hard. The shotguns aren't great in blackout, but it's doable. The second one, kill an enemy with a melee attack. This one is much more difficult. And the thing you have to remember here is that you don't necessarily have to do all the damage with melee attacks. All you have to do is finish them with a melee attack. So the easiest way to do so is hit them with a bunch of bullets and then melee them. Then finally, you have to finish the match with this in your inventory. You do not have to win the game. You just have to die with the locket in your inventory, getting a shotgun kill and a melee kill. And of course, by getting the locket and completing the challenges, this will unlock Menendez as a playable character. The locket actually has to do with Menendez's story in the Black Ops campaigns from the past.
Now, if you're one of the people who actually got your hands on this game early and are watching this video and are like, what the hell is going on? When I go and check out the characters, it says the mission is currently unavailable. That's because they are waiting for the full launch of the game to actually release these challenges so people can try to figure them out all at the same time. Same with zombies, Easter eggs, and things like that. So the missions are currently unavailable, but once the game is in full launch, you will be able to unlock characters just like I talked about in this video. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you unlock characters in Blackout. The three ways to do so are first of all, just simply leveling up, having the Black Ops Pass, and finally, last but absolutely not least, completing the various character challenges that you can find throughout the Blackout map by finding individual items. Remember, these challenges are not in any menu. The only way you can actually find them is by picking up the character's item in-game and then completing the challenges. So, I hope you guys find this video informative. I hope it helped you out unlock some characters. If it did, let me know which characters you've unlocked so far down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome. Awesome if you could hit that like button and if you want to stay up to date on all of my black ops 4 and blackout videos the best way to do so is make sure you hit that subscribe button and have notifications turned on but guys i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out Paradigm.